Let's again use our method to evaluate a scalar line integral. Take a look here. Compute the integral over C of square root of 1 plus 9xy ds, where C is the curve y is equal to x cubed, x runs from 0 to 2. So the first thing that we need here is that we need a parametrization. We need to find a smooth parametrization of our curve. Well, whenever we have this kind of thing, parametrization, parametrization, parametrizing like a chunk of y is equal to x cubed, y is equal to function of x, probably the easiest parametrization is to replace x with t. So x is t, y needs to be x cubed, which is t cubed, and t runs from 0 to 2. So we've got our r of t, our prime of t, we know we need that. It's going to be 1 comma 3t squared. The magnitude of r prime of t is the square root of 1 squared plus, a, plus a 3t squared quantity squared, which is 9t to the fourth. And then we know this right here is our f of x, y. So f of r of t is going to be square root of 1 plus 9 times x, x here is t, and y is t cubed. And would you look at this, magically, magically we end up with f of r of t is the same thing as the magnitude r prime of t. That's more magic, that's more of a carefully rigged problem really than anything else here, but it does mean that when we say the integral over c of f ds, it's the integral t runs from 0 to 2. That's our balance on t. Uh, f of r of t is 1 plus 9t to the 4th. The, the, the magnitude r prime of t is also the square root of 1 plus 9t to the 4th dt. Those two multiply together. And so it's just the, the integrand is just 1 plus 9t to the 4th. And so this becomes a very easy integral to evaluate here. And so we end up with 2 plus 9 fifths times 32. Okay, so that's a pretty straightforward example here. Here's a pre-class problem for the section. Evaluate this, the, uh, the, the integral of xy plus y plus z along here I'm giving you r of t is is 2 ti hat plus tj hat plus 2 minus 2 tk hat. t runs from 0 to 1.